Guess what just came in the mail today? So before we start the video, I just wanted to share some more learning opportunities for you. If you head on over to tannersteedart.com, you'll find uh, the opportunity to see some of my original paintings for sale. Um, if you head over into the gallery, I've got uh, G. Clay prints as well as the originals. But if you're interested in taking a workshop with me, uh, you can go up to the top left corner, click Classes and Workshops, and head on down to see a couple of our options. So I'm teaching a Rocky Mountain National Park plein air workshop, which is going to be coming up really soon. So if you're interested in that, definitely contact me. I have group classes and private classes available at my studio. So if you're in the area, I'd love to meet up with you guys. There's definitely room and a few options as for days. Another option is Zoom classes. So if you're not living in Denver and you'd like to uh, take private classes with me, I offer them through uh, Zoom and you can sign up for them on my website. It's tannersteedart.com. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Tanner Steed. I just got back from Atlanta, Georgia. A couple weeks ago, I was at the Portrait Society Conference and it was such a good experience. It was wonderful. I got to hang out with all my artist friends. I got to meet new artists from all around the world. To name a few, uh, I got to meet Michael Shane Neal for the first time. That was really cool. Michelle Dunaway. Got to hang out with my friends Anna Rose Bain, Emily Olson, uh, my mentor Dan Sprick was there. It, there was just a ton of people. Kwong was there. It was such a such a good time. And at the Portrait Society, uh, you can you know watch people paint, and it's all about painting. And um, there's more that goes into painting than just oil paint and canvas. So you've got your oil paint, you've got your canvas, um, or whatever support that you choose. Uh, but it's never finished until you choose the frame that surrounds it. A frame completely changes the way a painting looks. I like a frame that is very simple, usually dark, and doesn't really take too much away from the painting. I like for it to frame the painting and act as a support for what I am trying to express in the work. So I like for it to kind of get out of the way <laughs> as much as possible. Well. At Portrait Society, I actually got to meet Michael Graham, the owner of Masterworks Frames. And oh my god, are these frames insane. The, they have the highest quality uh, materials. They are hand carving these frames. And to make it even better, um, you can even customize what carrot of gold leaf you can actually apply on parts of the frame. So I like a little bit of gold in my frames. I do not like super garish frames that are all 100% gold. I think that takes away from the picture too much, but I do like a nice inlay uh, on the inside. I think that can be really nice, especially if it isn't super shiny. So what was amazing was when I was at Portrait Society with Michael, we looked at all of his pre-existing frames and I was like, hmm, I really like this one uh, because I like the texture of the wood I like the color of this wood, and I like uh, the temperature of this gold. And he kind of Frankensteined my own version and customized my own frame. And I am so excited because my frames! So uh, I'm going to be un unboxing them on camera, and I am so excited to open them. I haven't seen them yet. Let's do it! <laughs> While I was with Michael picking out my frames, I actually was planning on framing this oil painting that I've been working on for some time. And I'm really excited about it. I think it's a pretty strong composition. And uh, it was great actually working with him because he has worked with artists from all around the world. So many different fine artists use Masterworks as their frames. So he was very familiar uh, with uh, kind of helping me and supporting me in 
uh, creating my own frame based on this particular picture. We looked at the color notes in this painting, I looked at the yellow, and I was comparing that to the gold because everything is influencing uh, the perception of one another. So I wanted it all to work as a whole and not feel like two separate objects. This is what we're going to be framing today with one of the frames. I'm so excited. So Wow, this is so, so high quality. Even just picking up the frame, I can feel the quality. So these are all 100% handcrafted frames. This is uh, 22 karat gold and I love this red inlay. It's just slightly buffered, so you're actually revealing some of the some of the natural texture of the wood is seen through. And it's this not quite black, it's more like a green gray. On the back of the frame, they actually have my name and the size of the artwork, the depth, 22 karat, um, black regular antique, so and all, all the information and even the signatures of the people who crafted this. So if you're selling your artwork, obviously uh, your clients are going to want to see proof of all of this. You can't just say, oh yeah, that's, that's real gold on your frame. No, there's a clear label on the back. You can tell. It is exceptional quality. This is not your standard Michael's Hobby Lobby frame by any means. This is very, very high quality stuff. I can't wait to, to put this painting in here. I think it's going to be really cool. So Michael, I inspected every or both of my frames and oh my gosh, they are perfect. Not a scratch on them. Michael and everyone at Masterworks has been so kind to me, very helpful and uh, I highly recommend them to everyone else. Their customer service was amazing and I look forward to hanging out with Michael in the future. I'll probably see you at the next Portrait Society conference. Um, I also picked out a 12 by 16 I'm excited. I have a couple paintings in mind for this guy. Probably a rose painting of some kind. Actually, I can see it right now. Stay tuned for that. If you want to see this painting and any upcoming works, you can follow me on Instagram. It's just Tanner Steed Art. I'm on Facebook. Look up my name, Tanner Steed Art. Also, check out my website, tannersteedart.com. I've got uh, new prints now and original oil paintings for sale. So if you're interested in getting yourself a print, I actually have a print of this one that I was framing today. So uh, they are limited edition, all signed, hand signed. I'm only doing 10 of them. I've already sold a couple. So if you want to get one of those, head over to tannerstreetart.com. Um, um, another learning opportunity for you, if you would like to take classes with me, is through the Art Students League of Denver. Now, I just started teaching there and I'm very excited. I love teaching at the league. At the Art Students League, I'm teaching classical drawing techniques, floral painting, live figure drawing, long pose figure painting, atmospheric portrait drawing, just to name a, a few. I have many other classes that I'm coming out with soon, so definitely head over to the Art Students League of Denver if you're interested in taking classes uh, at the League. And another way to contact me is actually through my Instagram. Uh, that's Tanner Steed Art. Uh, you can follow me there, see some reels. Some more insight into my process, as well as get in contact me, message me, follow me. I post every single day, at least on my story. So go over there, check that out. So thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing, liking the video, you know, all that good stuff. Awesome, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one.